Hello Reptile Army. Before we even get into the video, I want to thank you guys so much for all the time and the days and the years you guys have supported me. So to give my respect back, we're going to go around. We're going to feed all of my animals today. That's right. It's today we're going to go around and feed the dog, the cat. I don't know where he is, but he's going to get something. Uh, but we'll feed the turtle, the salamanders, and the Miss Pris today. But anyways, let's go ahead and start with Scarlet. Now, Scarlet, she is, I know she had a treat yesterday, but normally I would give her some of these foods. But let's go ahead and take a trip downstairs. So as we're taking a trip downstairs, the main fact about uh, my turtle, she's a red-eared slider. She was given to me by my teacher in eighth grade when I graduated. And uh, I got two salamanders down here. I'm sure Lucky and Banjo are sleeping. And let's see here. Bingo. But anyways, here we are downstairs into the laboratory. Um, she loves mealworms and crickets. Don't give them super worms or beetles. They love, uh, mealworms and stuff like that. Here, we'll grab the tongs because we're going to be feeding my turtle by tongs. We're going to use these ones because I have two tongs. The tongs down here are for the salamanders. The tongs that are supposed to go for my turtle are right here in my hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a cup. We're going to probably grab a few meal. Oh, we also got a beetle egg. That's right. I do breed beetles because once they get a little bit older, because once they hatch out of here, then that's when their beetle form is here. I don't know if that one hatched, but unless that beetle will show itself, I'll put him in here. So, yeah, that's why we do beetles. Get clean out their aquarium. So, we're going to take a few mealworms from the mealworm aquarium. And we're running a little bit low on rations. So, we'll show you a video on how I get rations. So, we're going to put one more mealworm in here. Mm, actually, two more. Because she loves herself some mealworms. So, let's go ahead and put them down. And just the way of taking care of a reptile every day, it's, it's just my natural thing. You know, I wake up, you know, I feed the turtle and stuff like that. And... If you guys want to see a Feed My Pet Friday with the turtle or the dog, leave your suggestions. Who do you want to see me feed next? Do you want me to feed the dog or the cat or the turtle? Because we're getting more animals soon, guys. Including a tegu. That's right. The tegus that get huge. Oh, yeah. We will have them, but except for they'll just... He'll just have to be in a cage. I can't find any... I actually, I can't bring any huge aquariums into the house, except for this. <clears throat> Stop, Sigir, get down. See, my dog gets jealous every time when I'm feeding the turtle.
You better swallow that one. Exactly. See, she's a camera lover. I'm probably going to get her a little bit of work today. Come on. What you want to do is you want to work with the turtle. You know, like, show her where you want her to go. Stop! Mm-hmm. What we got to do is that we got to train her. See, this turtle is like a monitor. She'll follow the food anywhere. Come on, right here. I need you right here. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. I need you to work with me. Come on, work with me, work with me, work with me. I know you're not allowed up here, but work with me, work with me. Come on. Good girl. Take your kid down. Come on. Uh, come on. No, come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright. So, now that she's been fed, you know. Well, the turtle this size in a 70 gallon aquarium, um, what we need to do is we always check the thermometer. You know, like the Fahrenheit, her Fahrenheit is supposed to be at a 70 or an 80 degree. But let's check Celsius. The Celsius is to see how cold her water is because it's supposed to be at her temperature. And it is still normal. It's supposed to be at 24 or 50. It's supposed to be at 20 or 30 uh, degrees Celsius. In Fahrenheit, it's for how hot the thing, how the the heater is actually giving her heat. So here, stop. Stop it. And the heat lamp will also like give her some heat when she's in her basking area. I will also show you guys how to clean the salamander's aquarium. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take the tongs and the things back downstairs because next we are going to feed the salamanders that's right so my two salamanders lucky and banjo they are tiger side oh there's my kitty so yeah, this is my kitty his name is king hey king hey king yes i'll feed you in a minute but anyways uh these are my two salamanders they're both in the back Let's see if I can get them out of here. I mean, get them out here. I don't know if we have any more super worms left, but let's see if this one's still alive. Oh no, that one's dead. Did you move? Oh yeah, he's still alive. Let's see here, we'll put him in this bowl. This is the bowl where. Let me show y'all what I do. Let's go ahead and put back the tongs for the turtle. These tongs are for feeding the turtle because, like, if I were to give her these tongs, she would just drag the entire thing under water. So. So, this is normally what I do every with everything, you know, I used to take gum packs and everything and... We'll normally feed the salamanders with caps because some days, you know, with the whole mealworm situation, the way how they're dying off. But anyways, what you're going to do, uh, this one's almost done. We're going to use this one for the last time. <coughs> so, we're going to have to... Dig it underneath. If we catch any super worms underneath with it, then that'll work. Yeah, you see what I mean by he's moving? So we're gonna open the top of the tic tac tic tic tac thing and then we're gonna shake it out. <clears throat> so we're gonna see if any more mealworms are in here. I mean super worms. These are not meal worms. Oh yeah, there's one. But we are running low on rations, so. Normally what you guys don't want to do is feed them every day. They're only supposed to be fed like 
once a day a week. And by once a day, I mean like just choose a week to feed them. Let's go ahead and open this thing. And let's see here. Boom. So boom. So now what we want to do is we do want to like take the tongs. You know, if you find a super worm, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take both. Ow! So we're gonna take them out. They're hurting, bro. Yeah, this one's lucky. That one's banjo. And I tell you, when it comes to food, banjo does not play about his food. Only what you want to do is banjo, banjo, so you don't want to eat. Oh, lucky, I'll take it. Yep, lucky, we'll take it. Banjo, you have to be fed. Get your chunky butt out here. See, banjo will take it. See here, Lucky will take it. You know they always get turns taking, sharing foods, rations and stuff like that. When you're feeding your salamanders, make sure like, you know, like nothing is on your fingers when you touch them. Like normally, I wouldn't recommend holding. The ones that came from the wild. Dang, Banjo, what the heck happened to your... Oh, he's in shed. So that's why he's having an attitude. Yeah, he's in shed. So, you see that? That's a salamander shed. You in shed, Lucky? Are you shedding? Yeah, I so knew he was going to be due for a shed in two weeks. He'll still eat whether he's shedding or not. Yeah. And yeah, salamander amphibians do shed. Like the way how uh, reptiles shed. And amphibians are reptiles, but they're just amphibians. Which means they're cold-blooded. Which means they don't need a heat lamp or any kind of heat source. Come here, Lucky. Meet Banjo. But they will be mad. Calm down. Let's see where your shed is. Oh, what the? Yeah, he'll eat his own shed. Oh, yeah. The one thing about Lucky is that he'll just climb into my hand when he knows that their aquarium is getting ready to be <clears throat> ready to, uh, you know, ready to uh, get cleaned. But anyways, I will show you guys a video on how they will get clean one day and how to, you know, take care of their environment. And make sure that the thermometer is at this. Make sure that the room temperature... Because normally these guys will go by room temperature. And... They will hibernate over the winter. Or not. But anyways, we still have like one, two, three, four aquariums. We will save this one for when we're ready. 
to have a pixie frog, leopard gecko, crested gecko, and either I want to put a bearded dragon in here or a toke gecko. I don't know. You guys leave suggestions in the comments. What should I get next? Uh, I'm thinking of a leopard gecko, but I want to. I want the viewers to choose. Sekira. Yeah, this is my dog. Hi, Sekira. Hi. Don't worry about the show. What we're gonna do, since she's been eating, we're gonna get her a treat. And trust me, she will work for these suckers. She loves biscuits. Sorry, I dropped the phone. Are you ready, pups? You ready, pups? Ready, steady, ready, baby, baby. All right, Papa. So we're gonna set this here. Down. Sit. Shake. Half half. Sit. Shake. Ah, sit. Shake. Stay. Release. All right. You go. Here you go. She'll go crazy for it. Anyways, I'll meet you guys right back upstairs. So, yeah, that's how it is just to feed the entire animal place. But anyways, guys... A lot of you have been asking me, what should I do in the future? Well, what I want to do is I want to open up my own reptile facility. You know, have a store inside of it. You know, have like good prices and good selections of reptiles. And, you know, just, 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 you know, letting y'all see my reptiles I took care of over the years. And also, I will be starting classes of how you guys could actually, you know, take care of reptiles and stuff like that but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i'm outie